Hi guys. Welcome to Tiny Bus Kitchen. Um, I'm going to make something that doesn't require the stove today because it's warm and I'm not turning that baby on. And we so, live in a bus. We live in a bus. So, I'm gonna make chicken salad, except for it doesn't have chicken. We're gonna use shelled chickpeas instead. And it's delicious, and it's my new favorite sandwich. So, let's make it. Time for your favorite lunchtime snack. Yeah. making fun of these hard seltzers but this is the best canned drink that's come out in maybe ever since the coca-cola yeah i believe so tell the peoples about this stuff because we didn't really do any of that all right spices i'm going to use is just salt pepper a little bit of garlic a lot of dill weed because i love dill weed oh dill weed sup <laughs> I'm gonna chop up some celery, super small to put in there, as well as the onion. And then for our liquids, I'm gonna use mayonnaise, just a little bit of mustard, and then I forgot about... Our liquids? Yes. Is that the proper term? Yeah, sure. I'm also gonna add a little bit of olive oil because I always find the chickpeas to be a little bit dry and kind of have like a weird mealy feel to them. So adding a little bit of olive oil kind of helps. This recipe is not difficult to make, but shelling the chickpeas is like kind of an ordeal. So if you have small children or a good friend, someone that wants to help you that has fingers, just it's nice to have around. Use your inner Zen skills. It just takes a while. It does take a while. <laughs> Chickpea water is good for a lot of vegan things because it can be used as like an egg white replacement. So I've made like mousse with it before. I don't know, there's a billion things that you can do with it. So it's kind of nice to keep that on hand if you're wanting to try something new. Hmm, that's weird. All right, the fact is, is I don't want that in our gray tank for God knows how long it is until we <laughs> empty it. So we put that aside so we can just <laughs> toss it outside. I know, I really wish I could do something with it, but in most cases you do need a mixer or like a hand blender to like whip it up into something delicious. We're skinning these because the skin has kind of a bitter, nasty taste and it also doesn't have a very nice mouth feel. <laughs> kind of gets like, <laughs> that's a real word. Stop okay. giggling. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know what I was saying. Regardless, <laughs> it's gonna taste much better if you do it this way and be a much nicer consistency. It's not very difficult. You just kind of grab it from like the pointy end and it slides right out. And half the time it slides right out onto the floor. hours later our chickpeas are shelled and we're ready to chop some veg you're a very proficient celery cutter i don't think my chef in pastry school would agree with you but i'm decent a lot of people cut onions a really strange way but again for a good mouthfeel cole <laughs> I always cut like with the ridges instead of against the ridges. That's mostly if you're just doing like slices of onion. Um, I'm going to be dicing it so it might not make a huge difference. Since I got to cut it both directions anyways, but um, yeah, that's that. Is this the official tool of smashing chickpeas, a fork? Uh, 
saw you could use like a dough dough cutter. The dough cutter? Yeah. I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> I like to try to smash all of the chickpeas. Not leave any chunks. Just think it tastes better if it's all incorporated evenly. Chickpeas have been smashed. Next. Cole stepped in to help smash. Yeah, my arm hurts. Yeah, same. Now it's time to dump everything together. All right, I am getting more tipsy as we go here. I don't have a big enough bowl, so we're gonna get a big bowl. Life hack. Instead of dirtying a bowl for no reason, I'm gonna mix it up in this because this is what I'm gonna keep it in. Sweet. And that's why this is called Tiny Boss Kitchen, because we're doing it the way that it's freaking convenient to me <laughs> and no one else. <laughs> I don't give a shit what you do at home. This is how I'm doing put, it. Put in grandma's fancy bowl. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I do not care. How much are we adding of what? You know what? We're just going to take this top off the dill weed because we're just going to dump this bitch in here. Okay, so a lot of dill weed apparently. Yeah. Um, like, at least a tablespoon. This is always how my mom made chicken salad at home, like pretty close to this. I don't think she added onion, but like celery and dill weed and mayonnaise is like pretty much all it is. Tiny bit of garlic, just extra flavor. A disgustingly delicious amount of mayonnaise. Great. That wasn't good. the mayonnaise. <laughs> it was. <laughs> okay, it was. A little bit of olive oil, like a tablespoon. And what does that do? Just gets it wet. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, that's looking like some good chicken salad right there. Hell yeah, it is. I don't put very much mustard in. I just got a new thing of mustard if you need it. I don't. I don't need very much. How much? All right, so what did we do here? We added these things, salt and pepper to taste. A little salt and pepper. Go As easy usual. on the salt, y'all. Heart disease is real. In my diet, I need salt, so salting this up. Cole's like, oh, are you just gonna taste it? Why don't you just put it on the sandwich? Who just makes something and starts eating it without knowing that it's delicious yet? I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like part of cooking. It's like you gotta know what you gotta know what it tastes like. Yeah, you gotta lick Period. that you gotta lick that spoon. I feel ya. It's looking good. It looks like chicken salad. And it tastes amazing. Oh, you know what I didn't put in here? What didn't you put in? I'm gonna chop some little pickles and add it in here because oh, that was yeah, really good last time that was that's just a bonus thing a lot of people probably wouldn't like that but i'm gonna do it we like pickles you know these pickles are my jam the mini snackers snackums these are good you Ooh. could also put relish in here like pickled relish yeah that's gross oh no it's not like sweet relish um, not like the kind they have a steak and shake. I'm more of a kosher pickle type person. Have you ever had sweet relish? Yeah. That's, it's literally what it is. It's just chopped up, like, <laughs> pickles. You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? I'm ready for this. Yeah. I am very hungry. I wasn't super hungry when we started this, but I'm, like, now hungry. Oh, it's too bad. You don't get any. All right. Oh, wow. Whoa. Any words? Um, mm -hmm. this one's a little bit dry. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more mayonnaise, believe it or not, but. Okay. Yeah, it's delicious. This makes like, five six sandwiches worth so it is worth the effort in my opinion to just make a bunch cole's gonna show us how he does it cole's a professional sandwich artist if you guys haven't heard yet i worked at subway for three days yeah 
He really can make a really good sandwich. I think it's because he's not afraid of just putting literally everything in the refrigerator on a sandwich. <laughs> and it always ends up delicious. Yeah. That's my trademark. Everything in excess. That's going to be the name of your book one day. Everything in ex excess. <laughs> By Claire Robbins. So Monica and I do this a little bit differently. I like to immediately just put on more mayonnaise on top. No matter how much is in there. Yeah, no matter how much. <laughs> a little tomato. I'd encourage a little lettuce. If you have it at home, want to throw it on top. That is so good. He likes to cheese. And I do like to cheese it. This is Munster. This is really the non-traditional chicken salad route, but you well, know, you I didn't, do you. I didn't grow up with chicken salad, so. Uh, my grandmother would make, or she'd buy, I don't know if she'd make it, but she'd get ham salad from the Ew. deli all the time. That sounds awful. It was really good. You Hieronymi out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Ooh, wow, really cutting into that plastic table we got there. Here comes the big show. Cole makes the same exact face anytime mm. he eats literally anything. He looks up at the sky, nods his head, does that thing with his hand, and then says it's really good no matter what it is. The celery gives it the crunch. The pickles give it a little uh, crunch as well. That's why I'd recommend the snacking pickles because they're a little bit more crunchy. Creamy, crunchy, you could toast the bread. Go crazy, folks. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, it might have been time consuming, but it is super easy. These days, when it's hot in the bus, I'm never wanting to turn on the stove or the oven, so things that I don't have to use heat for is ideal. So, this is great. Thanks for watching.